I'll be sad. You'll be sad. We'll all be sad. Sound like friggin' Trump. Let's not do that again. Hey people, how are y'all doing? This video is gonna be a little bit different. You're gonna see the window bar up here and you're gonna see my task bar because we're gonna need to be showing a little bit of extra stuff onto the screen. If I record the game in full screen mode, I can't show you the calculations like the calculator and my browser, which is, which is what we're gonna be using for this video. I thought it would be a cool idea if I show you the process of me preparing for double XP weekend. So this is just gonna be me showing you what I'm gonna do. So with that all being said, let's get right into this preparation process. Hey, this actually looks pretty good. I haven't played in full windowed mode. I've been recording at 60 by 900 P um, because the rendering and uploading the video onto YouTube is a little bit faster because the resolution isn't as big, but you know, this looks good. So I might actually keep this without the taskbar and the, the window. All right, so what I'm thinking of doing is I'm thinking of doing Herblore because that's that's a freaking expensive. If you've trained this skill, I've said this many times in the past, it's freaking expensive. So I want to get that out of the way, or not out of the way because I don't have the money to get it out of the way, but I want to get to at least 85. I don't have the money to get to anywhere higher. I don't even know if I have the money to get to 85, period. So hopefully we have enough. I was thinking of doing some smithing, but you know, well, I, the only reason I want smithing is for the quests which I think I need 77 for the Ritual of Majora or something like that. I think that's the quest. Um, that's pretty much all I want it for right now. I think getting Herblore would be a little bit more beneficial. I do plan on doing Queen Black Dragon at some point, if that point even gets here. Kidding. It will get here. Just give me some time. But yeah, 85 Herblore gives you the super anti-fire potions, which if you don't have and you go do Queen Black Dragon, yeah, good luck. Let's see, where is this? So much stuff you can make. 85, super anti-fire potion. You need to use an anti-fire potion and a desert phoenix feather, which I think that involves another requirement. I think a thieving requirement. 85 herblore. So I think that's what my mind is sort of settled on right now. Let's see if we have the money for it. I need the help of Google and my handy dandy calculator. Let's open that shit. Time to open RuneScape Wiki because that's my go-to site for everything RuneScape related. So 52 to 53. Make super energy potions. I need clean Aventil and Mortmire Fungus, which I can get from the Grand Exchange, hopefully. If we get to 55, we can do super strength potions. We need clean Quorm and Limpwort Root, which are pretty pricey. This is the part that confused me the most. These little uh, annotations underneath the little instructions here. It says one, it says negative 1.1 mil in total, or negative 4.74 GP experience per experience point. So I'm guessing this is how much we lose in total. So by the end of this thing, after we sell the potions, I'm assuming we lose about one mil, which isn't bad. We have 16 mil, so I'll have 15 mil in return. This method, I only lose 735k, if my understanding of this thing is correct. So I might actually just do this, because I could use super strength. Why the fuck do I want super energy potions? That's what familiars are for. That's why resting is for. That's what those little mu musicians on the road are for. So I might just do this, super energy potions, until 55, which is not very far. And then just do super strength. I think that's a good plan. And then after super strength, after I get all that stuff done, definitely gotta make super restores. And these, I'm, I don't think I'm gonna keep them because I need the money to keep going, you know? After super restores, we do super ranging potions, which I'm gonna keep because my main skill is archery. As you can see, I have 74 archery. Everything else sucks. Actually, you know what? I'm going to have to sell it because I, I'm not going to have enough money to, to keep going. So after super ranging potions, we go from 81 to 84, making Ceridoman bruise. That's 10 fucking mil. You know, we might actually we might actually not even get to 85 because we're going to lose so much money doing all this other shit. Actually, I don't know. I, I don't know yet. Then from 84 to 99, we make adrenaline potions. Okay, that's the plan. We make Ceridoman bruise. Super ranging potions, super restores, a little bit of super energy potions, and super strength. So that's the plan. All right, now we need to figure out how much experience we need for 55 Herblore. So let's do this real quick. I'm so stupid. It's why why did I do that? The the remainder that's already there is for the next level. These potions give us 117.5 experience per potion. So let's double that, because it's double XP, 117.5 times 2, 235. So that's how much experience we're going to get per potion. That's fucking awesome. So 235, and then we take 10109. 
10, 109. Then you divide that by 235 because that's how much experience per potion gives us. We need 43 potions. That's fucking cool. Well, 40, 44. We're going to get 44. It's a decimal. So 44 potions. Let's do that right now. Hopefully we have enough money to get to 85. If I'm not, whatever. I'll be closer than I was at the beginning of this double XP weekend, which is always a good thing. So what do we need? I think it's Avento and more Myra Fungus. Okay, 126k. That's nothing, dude. That's nothing. Okay, they all bought. That's good. So that's 55. Okay, so that's 55 Urlo right there. Okay, now let's put that aside. And here it tells us how much we need from 55 to 66. So we need about... 2,637 super strength potions, which we just divide that by two because it's double XP weekend. Two, six, three, seven, divided by two. We only need 1,318 of these bad boys. All right, I'm just going to double check because I don't know if it's actually 1.3k. Let's do it divided by 250. 1.3k. Okay, let's buy this shit. Goodbye, money. I love you, money. Okay, we're officially broke. We have 3 mil, but no problem. I, I got to 30 mil like nothing. We can do it again. Alright, that's it for that stuff. I'm gonna do that stuff first tomorrow because I can't afford another uh, another set of uh, another set of levels. Okay, this should be enough for 66. That's only 60. No. Yeah, that's only 66, dude. Can you believe that? Imagine getting this the normal way without double XP. That's freaking crazy. How much is this total? 12.8 mil. That's a lot of money just for 66. That's not even halfway towards 99. I'm definitely not going to have money for smithing at the end of this Herblor session, at the end of this weekend, so we're going to just forget about every other skill. It's all about Herblor for this weekend. Hopefully another double XP weekend comes and I just grind the shit. Oh, actually, no, that's not true. That's not true. I have some protein stuff. I have protein hides that I'm going to go... Actually, let's do that right now. Let's turn that into bars because they give you a crap load of XP. And if you're doing it on portable forges, I'll be set. You'll be set. We'll all be set. Sound like freaking Trump. Let's not do that again. Let's convert all of it. 450. Let's go. Let's do it on protein bars because I want to do 300 bars. That's that's good. I think 300 bars got me from like 50 something to 68. So it's double XP. Hopefully we can get to at least 77. Hopefully, which I, I, don't, I don't know to be honest. I don't know. Alright, well that's going to be the end of this short video. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys tomorrow with some small progress into the double XP weekend. It's been fun talking to you. See you guys in the next video. Hey people, what's up? I got some new, cool, useful little tool that was requested in my last video by one of the... It was requested by one of you guys in the last video. And because someone said it would help me solve the clue scroll, which I'm going to do today. I wasn't going to do today, but I have another idea. The cool little program is called...